turn 11 um, so I had the crash this turn which was quite annoying because um, I made a mistake when I when I had the crash to us quite late and um, I should have um, just quitted and showed the video to the judges but instead I um, I re-entered the turn um, and replayed it and uh, that's not allowed so I got the warning um, and the other very annoying thing is um, I cleared the ancient ruins it was actually a very difficult battle much more than I expected um, and um, the first time I had I lost the dread monkey and gained a troll uh, ogre sorry uh, with charm and the second time I lost the ice caper which I think is more valuable than the, the dread monkey even though the dread monkey does have also have advantages for charming uh, with uh, the what's the name discussing stench but more importantly I didn't and get didn't get the ogre so now I've got only uh, six no five I have five units because I lost another one the previous turn I've got only five units left um, and it's going to start being difficult um, yeah so I cleared this ancient ruins sold the reward moved my troops here because I was about to see uh, that the, um, the Wyverns um, are here so they cannot reach me in one turn and I spotted a gold stash around here with my uh, floating saucer so I went there and then it revealed another one well it was around there I guess it revealed another one and so I went for it um, I'm probably going to move here so it looks like there is a mana node but a destruction one again so uh, might I know it's a nurse one it seems I'm not sure destruction we'll see if it's destruction it might be too hard I'm uh, probably going to go clear those sites and probably recruit someone here and, and hope to get um, to charm someone and I've got two ancient ruins uh, might be probably too hard for me to clear at least when I, I come for the first time um, so yeah I'm going to take my time level up charm units grow stronger because currently I'm too weak um, in terms of movement of rows so the crows um, I was around here I used the haysberries and then moved uh, to check the cave entrance and didn't see anything um, I hope I I don't get killed next turn and um, I can go use this and explore a bit the underground I'm probably going to send one crew on the ground and the other one I think was around here so I checked this I yeah, hope I don't get killed I'm going to check this area and uh, go a bit ahead of my troops but not too much um, hoping to find my Himka I got a quest proposal from the dwelling but I refused it and bought them for about 260 gold I think and I've got a nice 12 gold 16 mana and importantly eight research points income um, so that was the quest and um, yeah so now I, I'm at 52 and so I can finally research clock and dagger and basic sphering in one turn um, and I will be able to research guerrilla tactics in three turns so I'm doing this control and then next turn I can start doing assassins as I, I was as I was planning and here yeah should also work finally I got um, one of my favorite hero Freya the star with AD so that's nice and uh, well my Ice Nova 
I, I like her, but actually she's not that good. But at least she's Frostling and she's AD. Um, so yeah, Frostling is really good. And she has Arctic Walking. Yep. Oh, and I can take upgrades, but uh, yeah, nothing useful at this stage. And I've got my, bi my Bard. Um, okay, so thanks for watching. Ah, yeah, forgot to say that. So I used the the cartographer tent, I think, and uh, that's where I discovered the dragon dwelling. And so I still have um, how long? Three turns. So I'd, I I tried to do the quest um, in two turns. We'll see if I can manage that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.